Hello, my name is Valentina V, and today I'm going to show you how to use motion graphics templates from Adobe Stock to add production value to your videos. Here's a hint, it's real easy. Here we are in Premiere, and I have my clips laid out on the V1 video track. This is my friend Katarina, whose aerial company is called Grease Has Soul. So if this clip is going to be the intro clip to a commercial for the company, I'm going to need to write the name of the company on the clip. I can select the text tool, click inside, and write the text. Mm, that doesn't look so great, so I'll open up the edit controls in the Essential Graphics panel by either going to the Effects tab or selecting Essential Graphics from the Window menu. Messing around with it, I can maybe get it to something that looks okay, but I'd like something that already has a great style and is animated. So instead of the Edit tab, I will go over to the Browse tab. I'm going to select Free and type Title into the search box, so I'm only filtering for title templates that are free to use. There are 18 pages of them, wow. I can scrub through each one by selecting it and hovering my mouse over. I like this one called Visual Trends, so I'm just going to click it and drag it right above the clip I want it on. The first thing I'm going to change the text to Grease Has Soul, which is the name of the company. I'm also going to change the pattern of the colors. There are four patterns here on a slider that I can choose from. I'll change the colors to shades of blue, like the Greek flag, and I'll also change the color of the text to blue. Lastly, because this template doesn't have an ending animation, I'm going to make it shorter, then duplicate the layer next to itself and reverse the timing of it by right-clicking, selecting Speed Duration, and selecting Reverse Speed. Looks great, but there are actually a lot more templates available to me if I look at the premium templates in the library. So here's a clip of my friend Lixie. Let's say I want to find a premium lower third graphic to include in this interview clip. I just type in lower third and select the premium option to check out the graphics available. There are 45 pages that I can choose from, and actually a lot of these graphics have multiple animation options. So there's multiple graphics built into one. I'm going to select this one called six minimal lower thirds, and I go to the eye at the bottom right because I want to see those details, the information about this graphic before I buy it. And sure enough, those are the things I want. I want duration control and I want to control the colors. So when I drag it over onto my timeline, a message pops up saying that I have to purchase it. I hit OK, it opens my browser, and I sign into my Adobe account. Once I hit place your order, my item is ready and I can save it to my local library or download it onto my computer. I will save it to my library. And there we go. Back in Premiere, there it appears now with a blue check mark instead of the dollar sign. And that means that I have purchased it and it's ready to use. So now after I drag it into my timeline, a message appears asking me to sync the specific fonts that the template author used from Adobe Fonts. I select OK and they are automatically updated in the graphic. So for this one over on the edit tab, I want to change the duration to seven seconds. It has a slider for the different types of designs within this one graphic. So I can check them out and see which one I wanna use. I like the last one, design number six. After changing the position of the template, as well as the text and the colors, this is what it looks like. I hope this inspires you to take a look at what templates the Adobe Stock Marketplace has and how to use them for your projects. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to take this motion graphic, which I created in After Effects, and turn it into a motion graphics template for Premiere. If you have any questions, you can always tweet me. I'm at Valentina V on Twitter. Till next time.